Hello friends, welcome to my channel Cloud TV. In this video, I am going to explain you about uh, uh, the tool called a web based tool called uh, Apache Zeppelin. Okay, uh, let us go to the uh, Apache uh, home page of the Zeppelin. Before that, let me uh, minimize the recording uh, window. Okay, done. Uh, so, this is the uh, Apache Zeppelin uh, home page. Okay, so it says uh, Apache Zeppelin. What is Apache Zeppelin? It is a web based notebook that enables data driven interactive data analytics and collaborative documents with the SQL, Scala, and many more languages and technologies. Okay, basically, it is a, a web based notebook okay, where you can do the some uh, analysis uh, uh, using different uh, programming languages like uh, uh, um, Scala, uh, Python, uh, and different uh, 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 tools like uh, Spark and High Peak, uh, and different uh, tools. You can actually connect to the tools and uh, you can fetch the data and do the analysis in the Apache Zeppelin. So, it is uh, one of the web based tools and if for data scientists who can do exploratory data analysis, EDA. Okay, so with that, okay, so we'll just see the installation. Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, explain you about the installation steps for Apache Zeppelin. Okay, uh, and uh, just simple uh, 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 notebook creation for running a simple Python uh, script. Okay. Uh, Python program. Okay, so this video is not meant for uh, 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 the full uh, uh, tutorial for Apache Zeppelin. Okay, uh, actually, I am going to use this Apache Zeppelin in coming of uh, uh, Spark use case video. So, before that, I just want to do the installation uh, uh, video so that uh, people can be uh, ready and even I also get ready uh, to use it in the uh, coming up videos. Okay, so first thing is uh, uh, just go to uh, uh, click on the download button, okay, which will navigate to the download page. So there are two uh, uh, variety of uh, 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 <coughs> a compressed file or the uh, uh, binary uh, files are given. Okay, one is the uh, uh, full uh, contains a full uh, 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 interpreters, all interpreters. So here interpreters called uh, one of the uh, runtime, say example Python is a one interpreter. So Spark is a one interpreter. In Spark itself, we have a Spark uh, SQL is the one interpreter, and uh, <coughs> PySpark is another interpreter. Like Scala. So there are many more interpreter uh, it supports. So you, so you have that <coughs> uh, full version of all the interpreter, or if you want to have a Spark interpreter, and the limited uh, interpreter. Okay, so uh, if you go to the uh, installation guide, so you can see list of interpreters. Okay, so this many number of interpreters are the languages and technologies this Apache Zeppelin supports. Okay, so let us. Uh, 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 so I am going to uh, uh, download the full uh, version of the Apache Zeppelin. So I just click on this. So it will go to the another page where it gives a link to download the uh, uh, the the compressed file binary file. So we click, it will start uh, uh, downloading it. Actually, I already downloaded. So I just do cancel. Okay. So one thing is you can actually download in the Windows machine and then move it to the uh, uh, the Linux machine. So basically, I am going to install uh, Apache Zeppelin in CentOS 7. So either you download in Windows. Uh, machine and then move it to uh, the CentOS uh, 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 Linux machine using Win SAP, or you can use the uh, directly uh, wget uh, command to download uh, uh, the <coughs> binary file. You take this link and use the app uh, wget to download it using uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> using w, wget file. Okay, so I already done installation on my uh, uh, the cloud machine okay so it is up and running so i'll just go walk you through the installation steps so that you can do it on uh, your machine okay so i am using a i'm just uh, reiterating it i am actually installed the apache zeppelin in the cento s7 uh, 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 operating system okay so this is same uh, <coughs> so i'll be uploading this uh, uh, 
uh, installation guide uh, document in the description uh, uh, section of our video okay um, then this is just uh, uh, um, the home page and the same install uh, download uh, link page and then you get the, uh, the download link so you can use uh, i told you right you can download using uh, like you can download it in windows and then move to the linux box or you can do uh, wget okay use the wget command and uh, you already found the uh, zeppelin url uh, then use that and download it so once you download you get a file called uh, uh, zeppelin iphone uh, the version which i am using is 0 0.8.1 uh, iphone bin iphone all dot tz uh, tgz okay that is a compression uh, file i have it so first thing so we will start the installation process first thing is you need to untar it means uncompress the file so i want to uncompress the file and store it in the opt directory okay in the root directory so in root directory you have a folder called uh, or directory called opt i am going to uh, because i downloaded it in the home directory in my user Radu. so i want to keep it in the opt directory so i just uh, extract it to the opt directory once you extract it so you will have this folder uh, zeppelin iphone 0.8.1 iphone bin iphone all i just want to uh, rename the folder for my convenience so I just to do uh, sudo move uh, the source uh, uh, the folder name and uh, to the uh, zeppelin so from from this folder name to just zeppelin okay. so once I rename the file okay what I am going to do is uh, I am going to install so basically once you extract it then uh, almost your installation is done but I want to make this uh, zeppelin application as a system service so that uh, whenever the uh, uh, I restart my system, the Zeppelin uh, will uh, start immediately. So I need not to start every time uh, uh, Zeppelin. So for that what you need to do is first you need to create a user called Zeppelin. So you can use this command to create a user called Zeppelin. Then the set uh, uh, the permission for your uh, the Zeppelin folder uh, for the Zepp with the Zeppelin user. Okay. So user and the group are uh, both are same. So I just uh, created uh, set the permission for that ownership permission for that then i am going to create this as uh, uh, system services right so you need to create a, a, a unit file okay system uh, system md service unit file uh, with the uh, uh, the the demons which you, uh, are used for uh, uh, starting the uh, uh, zeppelin uh, application so when i say daemon it's a process okay it's a plain process so all this information you can put okay and save this file the file name is actually zeppelin.service file in this location okay okay once you do this then uh, you go and uh, uh, i'm going to do few uh, configuration changes basically when you uh, just extract the zeppelin and uh, uh, make it a system service so actually zeppelin allows anonymous users by default so i don't want to use anonymous users to log into my zeppelin application so i disable the uh, anonymous uh, access so it's for that just go to the configuration folder so opt zip zeppelin slash config and uh, rename the uh, the two files one file is uh, uh, zeppelin iphone uh, env sh file and uh, template file and uh, we remove the template okay basically you rename it or copy it actually i am doing copy actually now uh, similarly i am actually copying the uh, from the template file zeppelin uh, iphone site.xml dot template to zeppelin iphone site.xml okay so i am going to do make i am going to make changes in the zeppelin iphone site.xml okay so what change i am going to do i am going to disable the anonymous user success so the property which used is uh, zeppelin dot anonymous anonymous dot allowed it will be deep by default it will be true so i will make it as false so that's what i uh, made changes here so if you see i made the property as false so after that there is one more property uh, zeppelin server report by default it is 8080 okay so uh, uh, actually i am using cloud machine okay uh, in the cloud machine uh, Sorry for the interruption. Okay, let me uh, minimize the um, recording window.
okay done so what i said is by default uh, zeppelin uh, uh, will be listening on the 8080 port uh, i am using a cloud machine so i design i am not using uh, 8080 for uh, i am using for another uh, application so i want to change it to 8090 port so that i can access using this port okay so to make the change you need to change the value for the property zeppelin dot server dot port okay so where is that port is so so this is the property you need to make the change make it as 8090 so once you do the this change uh, then uh, so you already disabled the uh, anonymous access so you need to create uh, some privileged users to log in so uh, zeppelin provides uh, uh, actually or uses the uh, serio or serio authentication mechanism it is also one of the uh, uh, open source authentication mechanism i guess uh, so zeppelin comes with that so basically what you need to do is there will be a configuration file called serio uh, uh, serio uh, dot uh, ini dot template you make it uh, that uh, change the name or copy the file from template file to normal file that is serio dot ini okay and do the change so what change i'm going to do is basically you will have uh, when you see uh, when you open that file you will see like this okay so it is comment the admin user is commented and there are few user is created user one two three so i am going to create a two users one for uh, admin role another for uh, uh, normal role so uh, data making as uh, data making user this is a user and this is a password and this is a role for that user okay so i created two user for that so uh, do this change and save the file so once you do this change so now we are all set we just will start the service zeppelin service and we will start using it so to start the zeppelin service uh, use uh, uh, so because we, we made it as a system service right use sudo uh, uh, system ctl uh, start zeppelin and then enable the service to start automatically while system boot up and then you can check the status of the uh, zeppelin service so it is running without any error uh, then come to the login so how do you can login so take this url okay so basically this is uh, my cloud machine url i'll just go here hit it so still uh, it is waiting for login Okay, let me check okay. basically it will be green here uh, 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 green mark here so that it is uh, um, it successfully uh, uh, page is loaded okay so then you click on login so I used a CTV user using that user I will login okay so this is the home page of the after login this is the home page of the um, uh, Zeppelin okay so you can create you can go and create a, a notebook here and do the some analysis okay so let me check uh, what is the time okay so uh, uh, so basically i will do simple uh, uh, python uh, create python create a simple notebook for python uh, uh, interpreter okay to run my python code okay so you already created uh, one uh, <coughs> folder called python example inside that i will create a notebook called uh, okay test test underscore python or python underscore demo and you skip python underscore demo so what here there are all supported uh, interpreter uh, or the interpreters uh, 
it is showing what the supported interpreter so what i am going to do is i am going to run in python code right and just choose the python interpreter then create so it launches the new notebook so i just go on to print of i python and just execute yes it is executed it is showing the output here so uh, this is the uh, <coughs> zeppelin notebook so you can do a lot of uh, data analysis using this uh, tool it is i can say this is uh, one of the alternate for the uh, python jupyter notebook if people are familiar with the python jupyter uh, notebook it is uh, one of the alternative for zeppelin so it has good uh, visualization uh, uh the uh, visualization options uh, uh, by default so i will show in the next video uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this video uh, please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, provide your feedback so that i will uh, uh, <coughs> i will correct in my future videos thank you so much friends please subscribe to my channel uh, cloud tv